Welcome back to the morning show. We're breaking light down to a science. Hand over the laser. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky any of us are still standing here. <laughs> so we're talking about polarized light today. We were talking about polarized light, right. So the key is that when light propagates, the way that the electric field wiggles is either this way or this way. And by the oh. way, it's Matt Sellen. He's the wise guy. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. And, and actually, it can be going, if you just have a, a, like a flashlight or something like that, the light is going to be wiggling every which way. Some of the, some of the light waves are going to be going this way, some are going to be going this way, and some are sideways and so on. And the way you can actually play around it, even at home, and, and try to, to see what the effect of this polarization is, is if, if you get yourself some polarized sunglasses. And I'll explain how that works in a second. I have some big polarized sunglasses here that you were playing with That's a second right. ago. The Elton John glasses. That's there right. you go. <laughs> and so what the way these things work, if you look at them, there's a, little, there's a little arrow on the top like that, and that means that this particular piece of plastic only lets through light that is polarized this way. Okay? So if we just look at this morning show sign through that, you'll see that it's a bit dimmer because only half the light is going to get through. And if I now hold one next to it, which is asking for light that's polarized in the same way, it doesn't change very much because the first one is already changing it so that all the light that gets through this very first one on the way back to the camera is horizontally polarized. But if I just rotate this one by 90 degrees and nothing gets through anymore, right. that's because this thing is asking everything to be that way. When I put this thing over here, it wants everything to be up and down, but there's none of those left once it's gone through here. Okay. Okay. So you can separate light out into vertically and horizontally polarized that so way. So what is the point then of polarizing sunglasses? I'm glad you asked. I just happened to have some that I got at, at the drugstore last night. And so what happens is when, when light shines off the road surface as you're driving, let's say, the, the surface, when the light bounces like that, tends to make the light be polarized horizontally. Mm -hmm. So the glasses that you buy, which are polarized sunglasses, only let through light which is polarized vertically. So it, it absorbs oh. all the horizontally polarized glare. So when you put these things on, what you have left is just the, the stuff that's vertically polarized, which doesn't tend to be the glare. I, I've read in uh, the car magazines sometimes that people will complain that a liquid crystal display in their car, when they put their polarized sunglasses on, is no longer visible. Is this and I'm glad you said that too, because we're going to talk about liquid crystals in a couple of weeks. Oh. But if you have these sunglasses and uh, you can pop a lens out, which you should never do without asking your mom or dad, <laughs> then you can do the same experiment. You can turn the lens 90 degrees and you can see that nothing gets through right. both of those lenses like that. Okay, so now what does this have to do with this crystal, you might be asking? I one. was wondering that <laughs> okay. very same thing. The way this thing works <clears throat> is that this has an index of refraction, which means the speed of light inside this crystal depends on the polarization of the light. So light that's going this way moves a little bit faster inside the crystal than light that's going this way, let's say. Okay. And that means that light that's polarized this way is bent differently than light that's polarized this way. Now, as you look at this number three, the light that comes off of that little number three on that piece of paper is a mixture of both vertically and horizontally polarized light. So both kinds of light are coming off of that, but they have this crystal behaves quite differently for this kind of light and for the vertical kind of light. And so what happens is you get two different images. So if we held one of these polarizing filters over the crystal, would it remove one of those threes? Let's try it. Well, oh, look at me paying attention. <laughs> and the answer is yes. And in fact, if you rotate the filter, you see the other three. Oh. Okay, so you're selecting one or the other. You see that? It's the first concept I've really grasped. <laughs> Isn't that neat? <laughs> that so, is neat. Okay. Uh, and so there are some really beautiful demos that involve color and stress and things like that that use polarized light that we're going to do next week, and, and you're going to like those. And it involves cups of sugar. Oh, like well, yeah. Sugar. Sounds <laughs> right. good. Okay, thank you so much. Matt Sell, our favorite wise guy. We'll be right back.